On the season 13 reunion, the Real Housewives of New Jersey cast will have a lot to talk about. And, believe it or not, we're not simply referring to the poisonous conflict between Teresa and Melissa. There are Louise private eyes assertions. Additionally, there are a lot of family changes, hurt feelings, and other things. In the reunion's promotional video, the housewives sit down with Andy and witness everything from him losing his cool to Luis and Teresa threatening other cast members. There is a mess, things are tense right away in the season 13 reunion trailer, which you can view for yourself below. Even while everyone is still getting settled, Melissa Gorga tells her sister in law Teresa Giudice to control herself. We receive numerous montages with little to no context, as trailers frequently do, there is a ton of animosity. It is no secret that. The trailer also includes private moments in which characters provide updates on their families and relationships, but later, we witness the emergence of some particular hostilities. Teresa stances forward without holding back, she refers to her co-worker as a devil. And all signs point to the fact that she is addressing Margaret Josephs, or Margaret Joseph as Teresa has her listed in her phone, we then see her bend forward and talk which is one indication that she is speaking to Margaret, she seems to say, you're a criminal, to Teresa. This is where Rachel Fuda's reaction is priceless. In your first season, it can be challenging to stand out, without going overboard. However, Rachel has undoubtedly caused a stir this season. Many people want to see her once more. Teresa didn't hold back at all when it came to threatening behavior, she is heard suggesting to another cast member in the teaser, sleep with one eye open, either editors are misrepresenting the context seriously, or Trey just threatened another housewife. Although Rachel and Danielle are arguing, we can't help but notice Danielle's stunning purple clothing. Margaret then brushes off Jennifer's crude insults when they are directed at her. Why? What she has been hearing about private investigators is what worries her the most. In other words, when Luis first entered Teresa's life, a lot of disturbing aspects of his past were revealed, therefore, he has vehemently asserted, he is seeking to collect sensitive information, possibly blackmail material, against his detractors. That is to say, Teresa's fellow actors. Despite Teresa's admission that Luis spoke in haste, the two seem determined to be combative at the reunion, Bo Deedle. For the record, has denied any participation, uh, during the trailer, Luis shouts that he knows something about at least one cast member, and because of the couple's extreme paranoia, Andy needs to yell a lot to break the unexpected news. He appears to be employed by Teresa and Luis, they assert that they have been threatened with death. On reality television, that does occur on occasion. The presence of the security in the room during the reunion is undoubtedly unreasonable. If a conflict breaks out, production is ready. Additionally, Teresa adamantly asserts that Melissa is quitting the program without her will. Teresa isn't authorized to do that, whatever she is doing with her eyes at that precise time. It's not smizing. She might, however, think she can force production to fire her sister-in-law. During a bus ride, Jennifer Fessler, one of this season's friends, told a story that will stick in your memory. She reportedly experienced bitter backlash as a result of her age. That is pretty awful. Teresa gets a call from Joe Giudice, her ex-husband. She makes it seem like they didn't plan this, which is sort of amusing. Then, we return to serious subjects. Andy mentions that the birth mother of Rachel's child recently chatted with a number of bloggers. Rachel assigns Luis the responsibility. Although we are unsure of how she will do so, we are confident that she will. Margaret adds her own example after that, she claims that a harassing phone call and threats at work were made to her adult child, Teresa insisted that he would never do that, yet it looks that there is some evidence to back this, Deedle has once more refuted this assertion, and has somewhat kindly requested that Luis refrain from mentioning him in this context, but Luis doesn't seem hesitant to imply that he has anything to hang over people's heads, strangely, Teresa is suddenly listening to Jacqueline Lorita. Her old foe, remember how Teresa and Melissa worked together to oppose her years ago? Currently, Teresa is stealing information from her for Melissa's benefit. This is indeed the joke of the century, as Andy claims. Then, Teresa appears to accuse Melissa of being the reason for her detention. 
For the record, it would be a stretch to suggest that the person who did inform the FBI that Teresa had committed fraud is responsible for her being sent to prison. At one time, Teresa appears to be threatening her brother. They argue back and forth in an uncomfortable manner. Teresa, on one side, spoke significantly more during the conversation, let him talk, and he screams. He might have stormed off the stage at this infamous point. Teresa also gives a presentation that is more somber, she sobs, however, she also seems to refer to her own brother as disgraceful, thus it is obvious that she is experiencing more than just sadness, Teresa cries aloud, I can't, I really can't, in a harsh voice, lifting her gown's train as she slowly storms down the stage, she gets up and leaves, she screams, you should be ashamed of yourself, when Teresa reaches the backstage door, she spins around. What a disaster. And on Tuesday, May 30th, everything begins.